Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a custom order to load tables into Power BI. By default, all of your tables will load in parallel, and I'll show you a way to set up that order the way you want. So let's go ahead and load some data into Power BI. Uh, let's go to Get Data and SQL Server. I'm going to put in the name of my server, which is BI SQL Express. And my database is AdventureWorks DW 2012. Uh, I'm going to leave it on import and select OK. I'm going to load in four tables. I will take uh, I'll take dim customer, dim date, dim geography, and as always, fact internet sales. So let's go ahead and load these four tables in. Might take just a second to load that data. And once those four tables are in, you see them on the right side. So if we go ahead and click refresh, you'll see all of the tables load all at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. And you see they all kind of pull in the rows at the same time based on how much data is in each table. Uh, one way that you can potentially get around this is you go to options and uh, in options, you go to uh, data load and there's this checkbox for enable parallel loading of tables. You can un uncheck that and that will uh, make your tables load in series instead of parallel. So now if you click refresh, it should be more in series, but since they're so quick, it's kind of hard to see. But we'll see this. Uh, they all still kind of load at the same time. Maybe they're going in series, but since they're so small, they load so quickly that it looks like it's all in parallel. But here you're still not able to set the load order. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So you go to edit queries and you have these four tables here. Let's say we click on, let's say we want dim customer to load first. So dim date will load second. So if we open up the advanced editor, we can add a little bit of M code to allow us to actually make this delay for a few seconds and allow the previous tables to load. So the way we're gonna do that is we are going to add a new line here and we're gonna call this uh, delay and we're gonna set that equal to function dot invoke after. And basically what invoke after does is it invokes a function after waiting a certain duration of time. So we're going to call a function named func, which we have not created. And we type in hash duration and give it zero comma zero comma zero comma two which gives it, uh, tells it to wait two seconds before invoking this function called func. And we have to create the function called func to uh, invoke, and we will set that equal to func equals open and close parentheses, meaning we do, do not have any parameters. We'll use a hash rocket to specify the function, and we'll set that equal to SQL database this is our uh, connection to our database. And we'll put this all on one line to make the function a one line function. So basically we're putting the two steps that we saw earlier into one. So we are setting this function uh, equal to SQL database connecting and then looking for the dim date table because we're looking at dim date. Uh, and then we go to the next line, we put a comma here, we go to the next line, and we say delay equals basically call this function that we just uh, defined up here after waiting two seconds. And finally, we want to return delay. So let's go ahead and click done. You'll see this will take about two seconds. And let's go ahead and close and apply. And once that loads, we'll be able to look at the refresh. So you'll see that the dim date table will take just a little bit longer than normal. See the other tables had loaded and it took a little longer for the dim date table. So let's go ahead and do that with the other two tables. So we'll go ahead and copy this in the advanced editor. And we'll go to dim geography and we'll paste that in. Make sure to change this to geography and we will change this delay to four seconds. And that'll take about four seconds to 
uh, finish that, we'll go to factory net sales and do the exact same thing, but change it to six seconds. And we will change this to fact internet sales and click done. And this will take six seconds as you probably guessed. So once that finishes up, we can go ahead and click close and apply. And this might take just a second because now it has to go through the four second waiting period and then loading dim geography and then the six second waiting period and then loading fact internet sales. So give that just a minute. And now it's all loaded. Now we'll do our final refresh where you will see each one of these tables go in succession. Um, uh, there will be the dim customer table that loads and then dim date and then dim geography and then fact internet sales. So click refresh and you will see the dim customer, then dim date, and then dim geography, and then back to net sales. And then they will load the data into the model. One by one, and the next one goes, and then finally fact to net sales. So that's how you can set up your custom load order to load your tables into Power BI in that order that you want. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.